Assalamu alaikum. This is Salam Amriyadi with the Muslim Public Affairs Council. I want to read you a quote from Malcolm X that to me is applicable today as much as it was back in the 60s, over 50 years ago. He said, the problem facing our people is bigger than all other personal or organizational differences. Therefore, as leaders, we must stop worrying about the threat that we seem to think we pose to each other's personal prestige and concentrate our united efforts towards solving the unending hurt that is being done daily to our people here in America. And I believe that we as American Muslims are dealing with that challenge to this day. I've been doing this work in the American Muslim community and proudly and with much honor and I thank God every day for giving me the blessings of working for the community for 42 years, eight as a youth volunteer and 34 as an activist for the American Muslim community. I've seen organizations come and go. I've seen the mistakes. We can overcome anything and everything. We cannot overcome divisiveness, however. And I see that divisiveness to this day that is across generational lines and that is across the lines of what people perceive as threats to their own organizations. Exactly what Malcolm X was talking about. And it is time to create space for other organizations to come into the field and let them do their work. In particular, I'm talking about Engage, that has done effective work in bringing a presidential candidate for the first time, somebody who was nominated by a major political party to speak to the community. And he did speak to the community, and that is Vice President Joe Biden, and every Muslim organization was involved, was included, from CARE to Empower Change to the Illinois Muslim Civic Coalition to ISNA to so many other groups that were part of that forum. We were all invited in and we all said thank you for making that possible to allow the American Muslim community inclusion in the political process. And then afterwards, it was very unfortunate that I saw the divisions begin. And it takes me back to what I was reading in terms of the early years of Islam, when there was the great fitna, the great division uh, that led uh, to so much infighting because people demanded that you take a side uh, against an organization uh, or for an organization at the expense of another organization. This is something that we cannot allow to happen again in our community today. We cannot make it an ultimatum to condemn another organization. Just read what Malcolm X said, that our differences are much smaller than the bigger problems facing our community, facing our ummah in terms of oppression. We cannot allow Middle East rivalry and infighting and the way they do things there to be imported here in America in terms of how we should deal with each other as organizations. I'm not going to give blind allegiance to the party or to the leader. I'm going to do what I think is right. But I will also follow what the Quran says, and that is I will cover the faults of the others. I will be merciful towards Muslims, and we together will stand firmly against oppression. That is what we are trying to do. And in the case of Palestine, I don't think anybody can question uh, MPAC's record or, or my record on the issue of Palestine in terms of standing up for Palestinian rights. I have seen people that took a pro-Israel st stand and they call themselves American Muslim organizations. I was there when Elliot Abrams, the architect of the first uh, war on Iraq, uh, right after 2003, and he recruited people to stand with him for war and against the Iraqi people and against the Palestinian people. So I know what it means to be pro-Israel uh, and not represent the American Muslim community.
Engage is far from that. They are working for the community. They are working for uh, all the issues that are important to us, whether in India or with the Uyghurs or the Palestinians or the Syrians or the Yemenis or the Bosnians or the Chechens. So it is not time to drive wedges between our organizations. The only groups that benefit from that is our enemy, is our political opponent. And they are laughing when they see this kind of rivalry and divisiveness that is happening only three weeks, less than three weeks before the election. So let us coalesce. Let us work together. Let us put our differences aside. Let us put our differences in perspective. They are much less than what brings us together in terms of fighting for the rights of Muslims in America and fighting for the human rights and the survival of our ummah abroad.